Tennis Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Roden versus Elliot. You all have been in a relationship for three years? Yes, ma'am. And you've been living together about eight months? Yes, ma'am. All right, tell me why you brought your boyfriend here. Your Honor, I'm here today because I think that my boyfriend is cheating on me with my best friend of 18 years. We've been So your entire since, life? Since kindergarten, yes, ma'am. Do you have that awful feeling in your gut? Yes, ma'am, I do. Woman's intuition has kicked in. Yes, ma'am. Tell me what that feels like. Well, I mean, it, it's very hurtful because he treats me better than any man that I've ever had before, and our relationship is very important to me. We don't share children, but the children that I have, he takes very good care of. It's devastating because, you know, I don't want my children to lose that, and that's what would have to happen if, you know, I find out that it is true. All right, All right. Mr. Mr. Elliott. Elliott. She's accused you of cheating with a lifelong best friend. What do you have to say about that? Here to prove my point. I mean, I'm here right here today. Just prove my love to her. I mean, you know, I've been with her for three years. She's done an awful lot for me. She uh, loves her kids. Her kids are most important to me, just like they're my own. You know, I'm just here to you know, just to prove that, you know, there's none of that going on. I mean, I'm here for you. I'm going to always be here for you. And right. I'm just ready for it to stop. How did you two meet? My brother brought me over one day, and we both was kind of in a relationship at the time, but it was just something about him when she walked by, he just, she caught my attention in my eye, and my brother, you know, had brought a comment to me and said, hey, you know, she kind of like you, and I was like, okay. Ah! <laughs> so before right, you and... made the move, you had to know it was a move to make, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. And Ms. Roden, what was it that you liked about Mr. Elliott? Um, well, when we first met, he was a perfect gentleman. He wasn't, you know, the type of guy that wanted to come, you know, let's go hang out at my house or, you know, let's chill. Like, no, he wanted to go out on dates. He wanted to do stuff. He wanted to get to know me before he did anything. Um, it took almost a month for us to even kiss. Um, and, like, I had, look, we were sitting in the car and I was like, we have not kissed yet, you know? It was just a spur-of-the-moment thing. You know, I'd never really thought about it before then because he made me feel so special in other ways it didn't matter. Being a gentleman, all right? I like that. I like that. And she's smiling the whole time. The whole time you talk her, she's smiling. <laughs> Um, what went wrong? Well, we had, like, a small issue with his ex. Like he said, you know, when we first met, we were both kind of seeing other people. But we both resolved that, and we forgave each other for, you know, things that had happened in between that time. But then there was a time that, you know, he had went out of town for work, and I was looking on his social media, and there was... Uh, someone that was just liking every single picture on his, you know, social media. So I wrote her. She immediately started sending me screenshots of their conversation. He, like, wrote her and, you know, what are you doing? How have you been? And I want to see you and send me pictures and, really? you know, stuff like that. How old were those messages? Well, I mean, at that time, it happened that day. But, I mean, this has been now a year and a half old. But, you know, right. that's when things kind of... My trust was like... Mr. Elliott. So it makes you suspicious of him in general? Yeah. Okay, did right. this happen? Not quite like how she said it. We just had a friendly conversation. That's all it was. I mean... But can you understand why she would be a little upset about when can I see you? I'd be a little tight about that. And uh, can you send me a picture? But it wasn't no, no, can you see me? In, uh, can, I can't see you. It's like... So, so what it was it? It's like, I haven't seen you in a while. You know, could you send me a picture? It wasn't like, no... <laughs> okay. <laughs> all, all right. right. So... Uh, no, 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 but no. But if... No, no. <laughs> no. Not even no, if... Not even. Not even a little bit. So okay. let me just okay. put the kibosh on that. All right, okay. I don't care so, how long. Well, okay, but an old friend you haven't seen in a while, it's like, hey, how's it going? Send no. me a picture. <laughs> All right, Mr. Cup. Especially when you know it's somebody that they've had relations in the past. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. That's that's no. no relations. I don't know where you get relations from. So, okay, was this was an old girlfriend? Yeah. No. Was this someone you hooked up with maybe once or twice? No. Was this someone you had any kind of romantic inclinations about? No. So, no. why does she think that you all had a relationship? See? Okay, now. No. But, That's still a no. But it was... It was a no? It was it, no one that he had any kind of... no. We can do this all day. No. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Cutler. All right, let me ask this. Okay, so that's one incident. Okay. But what is it that he is doing that makes you think that he is sleeping with your best friend? I go on lunch, and I usually go to Terika's house for lunch, and, um... 
I pull up at Terika's house and um, both of their cars are there and I'm like pounding on the door for like 10 minutes. Nobody comes to the door. Okay, and wait a minute. So, <laughs> really? <laughs> so did you know that your boyfriend was going to be there? No. I'm sure you had a conversation with somebody about that. Well, <laughs> after I banged on the door for 10 minutes, like I said, I was on lunch break. Once I get home, he's at home and, you know, I question him about it and he acts like he didn't even, he wasn't even there. He doesn't even know what I'm talking about. Um, so he's like, you know, he just parked his car there or something. You know, I'm just like, <laughs> really? All right. So, Mr. Elliott, your car was at Terrica's house. Yes, sir. At lunchtime. Yes, sir. Did you hear her pounding on the door? No, yeah, but it wasn't no 10 minutes. Okay. Why didn't you come to the door? Because, you know... No, no, I don't you know. Didn't know. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> 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 Yeah, Mr. Elliott, you're gonna have to explain that one to me. I mean, the door came open. We opened the door. And what happened when the door opened? She kind of had that look on, like, what's going on, but you couldn't say what's going on. The door never came open. That's what I'm confused about. The door never came open. Like, I had to leave, because I had to go back to work. Are there any other incidents? Well, then, one day, I'm on my way home from work, and I passed them riding in his car. So I turn around and follow them, and they were headed towards my house. We pulled, all pulled up in the driveway, and they just made it seem like, you know, they just went out to lunch and there was no big deal. And I was just crazy for even, you know, thinking something was going on. And I was like, you know, I'm not an idiot. Did you well, talk to your girlfriend about this? I mean, I had a conversation with her about it, and she was like, Leanna, you know better than that. You're my best friend. We just went to dinner, and it's nothing like that. And I'm like, well, why? It, how would you feel if I went to dinner with your boyfriend? And you can't think of any reason why they would be in the car together just kind of hanging out? No. Shortly after the dinner incident, I come home and they're just Kiki and Kaka on the phone and as soon as I walk in the door, he hangs up the phone and I see her name on the screen and I'm like, well, you know, what is all of that about? Oh, we're talking about lunch. We're talking about what happened at lunch and my gut just tells me that it's something not right. All right, and Mr. Elliott, it's your position that there's nothing going on with her best friend, Terrica. Nothing at all. Sir. So your gut is saying, it's doing this. Mm -hmm. Danger, danger. Okay, do yeah, you understand why she would feel that way? I can see like, when you said that, but sometimes it doesn't mean what you think it is. All right. <laughs> well, you haven't given us much to think that it ain't what we think it is. <laughs> can you help us understand why it isn't what it looks like? I bumped into her one day, and I was like, hey, you know, I'm planning this, would you help me? Okay. So she helped me, you know, the, what I was looking for. And she helped me out through the whole thing. Terrica, she's a great, wonderful friend. I love her just as much as she does. It okay. sounds like something's All right. a, a well, foot. In order to get to the bottom of this, the court has tracked down the best friend, Terrica. Ron, would you please escort Terrica into the courtroom? Yes, Your Honor. All right, could you come in? What's your full name, please? Terrica Gunn. All right, Ms. Right. Gunn. And you have been best friends with Ms. Roten since kindergarten. My whole life. What is your relationship like with Mr. Elliott? Um, I guess my friend, because that's my best friend's boyfriend. I know him through her. I met him through their relationship. Only way I know him is because of my best friend. All right, so do you all talk? Do you all communicate? What's your... What's the nature of your relationship? What do you mean do we talk? Do you text each other? Do you talk on the um, phone? Here recently, I can say we might talk a little more than usual. But aside from that, no. When I see her, I see him. We all hang out. We all talk. We all eat together. But yes, we, we've talked a little more than usual, but not aside from what we've been talking about. OK, so I have you been that. having an affair with Mr. Elliott? I have not. I can't even believe I'm here about this. Can I tell a story? <laughs> I just want to tell y'all what I'm here about, first of all. My best friend calls me, and she's like, girl, I think Quinn cheating with this girl. We finna get her. Guess who the whole bag is? <laughs> okay, so <laughs> if, if I got this straight, your friend calls you and said, look, we're going to court because I want to find out if he's cheating, and we're going to track down this... She had a whole... We had a whole situation. We got a certain girl that we come here to find out about. We had everything, and me is me now. And she didn't tell you it was you? No! I so you shocked the, You okay. yes, shocked. yes. Were you afraid to tell her who you thought it was? Yes. Why? She's my best friend. 
And, and she know I wouldn't do nothing like that. So it's, it's, a, it's such a hard situation. It was just hard to, you know, let her know that that's what we were coming for. So you and your heart of hearts, do you believe that she's she doing better not. this? Oh, I'm because I'm, I'm looking at the tears in your eyes as you talk about this. Do you believe your best friend is cheating? I just, I've, I've, I've got that gut feeling, but I don't want it to be true. I don't this gut feeling that you have, can you describe it? Your stomach just feels sick, you know, like when you see something or when you hear something, certain things happen, like the telephone calls and stuff, you know, it just makes you feel like, you know, it just, I don't know how to explain it. That's the best way I can explain it. When you look across and see them just standing there together, How does that make you feel? <laughs> Mad. <laughs> Uncomfortable. Mad um, too. Me too. Me three. Well, when you have a situation where a woman is feeling that she's being scorned, we felt it necessary to have a person come and share what that is like. Someone who has been scorned, who has had a triangle relationship, she believes, with her best friend and her man. And so we have invited... Miss Mimi Faust to come and share with us. Miss Faust is a reality television star, a successful businesswoman who appears on her own program, Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. Ron, would you escort Miss Faust in, please? Yes, Miss Faust. Hi. Please come here across the front. Miss Faust, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. We need your help. We need your expertise. How has infidelity impacted your life? Uh, it's made me more aware. It's made me think about things a little different. It's actually raised my self-esteem um, going through these situations. What are the warning signs a partner should be on alert for in a situation where there may be infidelity? When your partner switches up on you, um, Extra phone calls are coming in. He's staying out a little bit later. Um, you know, when you have that gut feeling and you feel something is weird or strange, that's a sign. All right, so in this case, Ms. Roden says that she has that feeling that there are interactions between the two of them that just make her feel like something's going on. She sees them together in the middle of the day. Uh, she sees them in the car together. Is that something that be a red flag? Absolutely. They better have a damn good reason why they're together. Have you ever had an experience where a partner was cheating with a friend? Oh, boy. <laughs> I know, that's like a rhetorical question. <laughs> tell us about it. Just tell us about it. Oh, my God. I mean, it was terrible. It was terrible. It was... He had her in his phone under, you know, a different name, and, you know, the person is calling in the middle of the night, and I'm, I'm like, why is your phone ringing at 4 and 5 in the morning? And... Oh, it's my homeboy from the studio, and it was just crazy. You had this gut feeling at some point. It felt like I swallowed a cinder block. Oh, That's no. what it felt like. That was a good explanation. <laughs> is, that, is that how you feel, Ms. Rogan? Yes, that was a good explanation. Yeah. Based on your experience, what can you tell them? Well, for you, just communication. You should talk to him. You should talk to your friend, if she's mm -hmm. your friend, especially if it's been your friend oh, the for many course. years. The court. Hold on, let her talk. Have, have, y'all need to communicate. You need to get all the information, and if it doesn't feel right after that, then you need to just leave it alone. Period. It's not worth going through something and you getting hurt behind it if, if he's not being faithful to you. And I hope to God, best friend, that you were right. being a best friend. Mm -hmm. That there has to be a good reason. Damn good for them to be together. Absolutely. Especially if she's not around so and she doesn't so know about it. Yes. All right. Ms. Gunn? Yes, sir. Is there a good reason why you and Mr. Elliot have been spending so much time together? There is a very good reason for it. We've been planning something. And honestly, it's, it's, it's kind of... A, a hard shell because this wasn't the plan. Just put it out there, please. Look, um, this this is what I wanted to say right here. I was T-bone in a motorcycle wreck. This woman right here took care of me. I do everything a man's supposed to do. But that really doesn't answer the court's question. The question is, why are you spending so much time with your girlfriend's best friend? What this is that? Right here. That's why. And we had a big plan. We That's were planning a nice an friend. engagement for her. Wow. 
Oh. But she's always thinking something's going on. Is that a damn good reason? That's a, that's a, that is a damn good yes. reason. Yes! <laughs> Those are different kind of tears. Where's the cinder block now? Is it gone? It's gone. <laughs> All right, what you got to say? For, first, I do apologize to both of you very much, and I love both of you so much. Um, second, um, I guess one reason why I, I am so, you know, like that with him is because that's the best man I ever had. I've never had somebody be as good to me as he has, and every man that I've been with has done me wrong in some kind of way. Congratulations. Thank Ms. you. Ms. Elliott? <laughs> Would you like to make it a moment right now? Yes. yes. <laughs> do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> it won't be go any on. proposal <laughs> out there in the world like this one. <laughs> oh, gosh. Leanna Roden. Is she mad at me? Yes. yes. Yay! Yay! The court is sincerely happy that you all have gotten to the bottom of this. Please remember, don't cheat yourselves out of a chance for a good relationship. Congratulations to you. Thank you very much for being here. We appreciate you. Court is adjourned.